guys, welcome back to the Science Kid. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Vex Robotics Hexbug Catapult Launcher. So the Catapult Launcher is this thing. Now today in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to build it. Is it worth your hard earned cash? And is it fun to play with? Now I'm gonna to cut to a time lapse of me building it. Okay, so this is me starting the build for the Catapult Launcher. So this is about my third Vex Robotics Hexbug build. And this one I'd say is the easiest out of the three so far. Now this one on the box, it says the difficulty is a two out of five. And I'd say that's about it because I thought it was a fairly easy put together and it wasn't really that hard at all whatsoever. But there were some things about the launcher that weren't super great. For example, on the box it says it shoots about 20 feet, or for you people that use the metric system, 6 meters. It doesn't. It launches, I'd say, about 15 feet max, and that's right on the ground. I'm guessing if you have it higher or, like, have something under it, then it probably can shoot a little higher. But when you crank it all the way down and you shoot it, it really doesn't do that much. And with the launcher, the instructions this time really weren't that bad. There were still some of the weird coloration issues when they would show a certain piece and then it wouldn't be the right color. And at one point I thought I was, man, I'm out of this piece. But then it turns out it's not a gray piece, it needs to be a black colored piece. So there was that issue for a little bit. And also along with the pieces, there's literally none left. So if you lose one piece, it's not going to be good. So you've got to make sure when you're building it to keep all your pieces together. Also, pretty much this entire build, I'd just say it didn't hurt my fingers at all, which is I am extremely grateful for because the last couple ones I probably spent a lot longer. The uh, crossbow one, which will be a link in the top right, um, if you haven't seen that yet, it was kind of harder and it probably took me, I don't know, maybe an hour or half an hour longer and it made my fingers hurt very bad. And then there was the worst one that way, which is the Vex Robotics Hexbug Gatling Gun. Now that one was really bad because I took four hours to do it and I had to do that in different times and that was just horrible. But this time it doesn't hurt your fingers, which I find pretty good. So, if you wanted to know about the science behind this catapult, well, here it is. So, pretty much what this catapult does science-wise is use energy. Pretty much potential and kinetic energy. Now, if you don't know what potential energy is, it's pretty much, for example, when I pull this backwards and you see how this rubber band gets longer here? It's gathering more potential energy as I pull it back and it's storing potential energy right now. But as soon as I pull this lever, all the potential energy is converted into kinetic energy, which let's find out what it does. Make the ball fly. Now also another thing to take into consideration science-wise with the catapult is the degree that it's at. So normally when a projectile is fired, it needs to be at about 45 degrees, not Fahrenheit, uh, but, you know, degrees, protractor, to be fired at the optimum distance. So currently, I have my handy dandy protractor right here. Now, this right here is the fulcrum from where you see I just had it fired, like it ends like right here, so that's where it fires. So if I have it here, so as you can see, as I have the protractor right here, you can see that it's at about 60 degrees, which means that it's about 15 degrees off. Now let's just remove this. And so let's say we had two books underneath it or something like that. I have two National Geographic sized books. If I use it to make it go up a little higher and then I preload this once again, and also, these ball holders are very handy. You keep it on there, then it's gonna be risen up by a little bit, 
And so, let's see. It goes way farther. Now, if you want to know how fun it is to play with, well, let's find out. And building the Vex Robotics Hexbug Catapult Launcher, I thought it was pretty good. It is a pretty good product, and it, I'd say, yes, it is a pretty fun product to play with. So if you guys want to get the product, the Catapult Launcher, there will be a link in the description. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like the video and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.